here with Junior Chudy A. Bile. Chudy, uh, two games in. Um, these were your first two regular season games in about 18 months after you redshirted last year. Uh, what do you feel about how the first two games went and, and you getting back into the flow of the game? Yeah, um, I'm happy to be back. You know, uh, the first two games were a little rough just because I haven't played in so long. So when I got on the court, I was a little really nervous, and it was kind of it was kind of um, I had to get the feel for the game back just not playing it so long. But you know, it felt good to get them uh, first two under the belt. Uh, Texas A&M was fun because just because that was a really big game, so it felt good to get back out there. Another really big game on Tuesday. A uh, Rice comes to Prather Coliseum. Prather Coliseum Tuesday at 6:30. Uh, this team has, has played Rice a, a couple times in the last couple of years. You had to watch last year's game. Uh, what's it going to be like to have a, a big time game at home? It's going to be good. You know, um, as a team this year, we understand that if we want to have a successful season, we got to protect home court. So that's our main focus going into the game. And um, yeah, it was tough watching last year. It was tough watching all last year, you know, because I've never um, not been able to play the game uh, ever, really, since I remember. So uh, not playing last year was real tough. And then. Rice is a really good team as well, so that's that's going to be a big game for us. We got to get that one. You started playing basketball in middle school. Um, you, obviously, you said it, it's, it was tough having to watch last year. Mm -hmm. Stepping back from the game like that and, and being able to watch, what did you learn? Did you uh, was there some things about the game that you were able to study more mm -hmm. being being back off the court for a year? Yeah, um, I definitely improved my body. I've got a lot stronger. Uh, I was able to really watch, and, and the game slowed down for me a little bit, just being able to see, like, because I'll be on the bench, and I'll see certain things going on, and I'll be like, all right, that's not a mistake I need to make. So just watching from other guys on the team and learning from their mistakes. And then even for you, game one to game two, um, game two against Texas A&M, you felt it, it seemed like you were much more in the floor and more comfortable on the floor. How did you think about your improvement game one to game two? Uh, yeah, because game one, um, it was the first one. So the first one is always the, you know, even if you didn't sit out the whole year, you're going to have butterflies. So the first one, I was really, I'm going to be honest, I was nervous. And then the second one, I just said, it's just basketball. You know, I've been playing this game my whole life, and I just play it. And then how can this team build off those first two games? Three and a half minutes to go, you're down by seven at Texas A&M. You had uh, a chance to, to really threaten late. What are the positives of that, and, and what have y'all done over the last couple of practices to kind of prepare for the rest of the season? Yeah, um, you know, we we really believe we could have won that game. You know, it shows from being being only being down seven, uh, coming down the last at the end of the game. But um, we really just took it as um, there's no consolation, or I don't know how to say, but there's no uh, you know what I'm saying for 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 being close. But we took it as a, a positive that we were able to hang with them, and we're just taking on to the next game. Judy, thank you very much. Thank you.